So as the number of cases rises, some minorities are facing a higher risk of dying from COVID-19. United States Surgeon General Jerome Adams says the contagious virus is killing black people at a really high and alarming rate. And on your side, Deanne Roberts is live with a look at why this is the case. Deanne, what have you learned? So what we're seeing in several parts of the country are some of the racial disparities within our health care system. What we're seeing is the percentage of blacks dying of COVID-19 supersedes the percentage of blacks that live in the actual state. I did take a look at Florida's numbers. According to the Florida Department of Health, blacks make up 18% of COVID-19 deaths in Florida. And according to the U.S. Census, only 16% make up the state's population. However, the, dispar the disparity is glaringly different in other states. For example, Louisiana. 70% of people who have died are black, but African Americans only make up 32% of the state's population. USF's Dean of Pharmacy says chronic diseases like hypertension and diabetes are more prevalent in the black community. That mixed with COVID-19 causes higher death rates. He's hoping a spotlight on this racial disparity sparks change. And shame on the entire Entire healthcare system across the entire country if we don't take advantage of the situation to address health disparities so that all Americans, whether you be African American, Latinx, Asian, Caucasian, or anybody else, uh, can, can really have a, a full opportunity to enjoy what this country can offer. For African Americans with underlying conditions like hypertension, diabetes, or even asthma, Dr. Sneed is recommending you obviously take your prescribed medication, exercise, go ahead and lower your salt intake, and of course stay away from any sick people to avoid contracting COVID-19. I'm live in Tampa this morning, Deanne Roberts, 8 on your side.